What's up guys, it's Mdog5 and welcome back to another cooking video. It's not even called like Mdog Cooks, like the name of this series is called Cooking Videos. So well, welcome back to another one of those. And today we are going to be cooking a hearty omelet, aka the best omelet recipe. Now, if you think, but for some reason, I, I, I'll give you a reason. You saw the thumbnail and the title of this video, right? If you think that this is a serious video, click off of this video right now. I mean, come on, you, you got the vibes by now. But uh, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, cook this amazing omelet that I have pieced together. Step one is you wanna get all of your ingredients out, right? You want these kind of peppers. I don't, no, no. Organic mini peppers, whatever the f that says. Then I want you to get this kind of Mexican style cheese, right? I don't want to see any other kind. All right. <clears throat> You're going to get a half. Oh God, what's wrong with my voice? <clears throat> then I want you to get a half frozen, AKA defrosting tomato, right? Then of course you are going to want to have eggs, right? Get this, right? Forget Eglin's best. You want the gold hen eggs all right best eggs out there oh my god the taste is relatively different than all the other eggs that i have bought okay and i've added some ingredients right you're going to want a whole onion and a whole entire onion all right and then garlic now who the hell would cook something without washing their hands let me know in the comments below and i swear to god if you actually tell me someone like your uncle I will ban you from this YouTube channel like a salty Twitch streamer would ban someone for bringing up something from their past. After you wash both of your hands, right, in that shot, I only washed one of my hands. That's because I was holding the camera, people. I can assure you that I've washed both my hands because who the hell would cook something without washing their hands? All right, step two. I'm going to get my mom's apron, okay? All right? Not my apron, my mom's apron. All right. Uh, I, I like the colors, you know? Uh, I like what's going on here. And then you're just gonna simply tie this around your back. It's really a simple process. Um, no need to get someone to do it for you. Like, tying an apron is relatively easy, you know what I'm saying? Now that your apron's on, you can begin to cook. All right, next step. You either want a pan or a skillet. I prefer using a pan because with a skillet, it is much harder to clean. I've only actually used a skillet once. I didn't even post that cooking video, but I do have a picture. I'll put it up on screen. That picture was from a year and a half ago, so I do not want to hear roasting in the comment section. Yes, I don't want to hear roasting in the comment section. How do people do this so efficiently? Bro, this is getting on my nerves, man. No. All right, everybody, so step one is cutting your onion. And if you don't know how to cut an onion, I mean, you're stupid, but I'm gonna teach you since you're a, a viewer and I love all my viewers. Sight, some of you be out to get me, trying to expose me and stuff. All right, so I'm only gonna cut half of this onion, but you do not wanna cut this part, right? Because the second you cut it, it's gonna bleed out and that's when your eyes get to water. And cut half of it, you cut it like this. Remember, you want to have two fingers on the onion and one on the knife so you don't cut yourself. Your middle finger's knuckle will protect your fingers, right? From being cut. So this is what you wanna do. And just cut it directly in half, right? Easy enough. I think we'll use this one since we're, it, it, it's the smaller piece, right? Get a bag larger than necessary <clears throat> and put this in your freezer. Make sure all the air is out. And then just toss it in your freezer, all right? It's all good. So, here's how I'm gonna do this, right? I'm gonna hold this top piece and cut along these lines right here. So, your onion should look something like this so far, right? Then we're just gonna go down and start to cut it, right? Do 
you should only have this piece left because that's what's holding all of this shit. And if you want that extra onion, you can hold it back. And there you go. Now you really only have that right there. Once your onions are cut to satisfactory, you're gonna put them to the side. You're gonna take your now almost all the way defrosted tomato. Just kidding. Once it's like this, you're gonna put it back from where you found it, back into the refrigerator. Of course, this won't be a problem if it weren't frozen in the first place, but uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't. I, 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 Put it back in the fridge, right? You have your garlic, and I just want a clove. Some people cut it. Nigga, look. All you gotta do is peel this and rip it out. I have my clove right here. I'm gonna take one garlic clove because I'm I'm not like yeah, it's not it's not I'm not trying to overpower the omelet. So once you have your garlic clove peeled. And it looks like this. What I'm going to do is flatten it. All right. That's all you got to do. Then the skin will come off all by itself. You see, you see how easy that was. You don't want to dice them. You want them sort relatively thick, like thicker than because you, you, you want that flavor in there. It should be about this thick. All right. Put that off to the side. Next. Take these peppers, right? Hmm. You want some color, right? Get get about hmm, four or five different peppers. And each pepper has a certain way that it's supposed to be cut. Get peppers back into the refrigerator. Bro, what the f my my fridge just farted. Watch these, because who the hell would cook peppers without washing them first? Now that these are washed, we can cut the ends off, but not too far into the pepper, right? With this one, I think you have to cut it, or you can cut it how you want, but you cut these into strips. Remember, you're using the pepper as flavor. Then, once you cut them into strips, you can either leave them as strips, but remember, you are cooking an omelet. You can dice them up, right? What you want to do is grab a smaller pan like this. Bro, we, we could we could fight right now. What's good? You trying to trip me in front in front of my audience? And here is when things are going to start to get busy, right? You have this smaller pan and this larger pan right next to each other. This is for the omelet itself. And this is for your spices. So for the video's sake, right, because I have to switch camera angles and stuff, I can't do this as fast as I want to, we're gonna go ahead and chip the, the, the tomato. I forgot about that, it's, it's all good. It's all similar to the onion with the tomato, you aren't going to use all of it. So beware that a lot of juice is gonna come up and you aren't going to keep your tomato along with everything else. When you cut a tomato, just cut it at this point. I'm, not, I'm done trying to teach right it's half frozen just cut the tomato the best you can and please for the love of god make sure that it's not frozen because somebody left me with a supply of frozen tomatoes i mean that's my manager i'm gonna I'm, I'm, i'll let him know okay this is not going to be cooked with your spices which is why i wanted to put it in a bowl but now speaking of a bowl we're gonna get a bowl so i have a bowl right here 
and I'm going to crack my eggs. That was a terrible crack if you can't tell. Real OGs can crack with one hand. You have your eggs, add some salt and pepper. Nothing different, not too much, right? Just about a few cranks should do it. Pounded black peppercorn. And you're gonna add a lot more peppercorn than you are to the actual, than the salt I said to the actual. I don't know what I was gonna say after that. Get your tomato and put it in there. Oh my gosh. Yes, All right? Then what you wanna do is get your cheese. Now, we're gonna put some cheese in the mix and on top, all right? Stir all this up with a plastic fork. No other kind of fork, just a plastic fork. The reason why I'm going to use a small pan for this is because I want all of these spices to be compacted together, if you know what I'm trying to say. So what we're gonna do is turn this on to medium heat. Medium heat, right? I don't see any meat here, right? Meaning, I can't just put something raw onto the pan that will produce enough oil to cook on its own. So you're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil. A little bit more vegetable oil, nice. Just base it around. Once you're done with that, let it heat up a little bit. Once you feel that it is heated up a little bit, you're gonna turn your fan on to low, right? Because the fan is, we'll make sure your house doesn't end up smelling like food. And you do not want, trust me, for the love of God, you don't want the fire detectors, uh, the smoke detectors, same, same, same. You don't want that to come on in the middle of cooking, right? You throw your garlic in there, right? Let that sit for a little bit. Here's what the garlic is looking like, by the way. Now, once it begins to let off, once you smell it, right? Add everything else on. Your peppers. And your onions. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna let that sit, okay? I'm gonna let that sit, right? Now, come over here. Draw your attention to over there, right now. Hi, you're gonna turn this on. Again, to about medium heat. Put the butter on. All of it. And that's a lot of butter. That's good. You're gonna wanna stir this up. What do you stir it with? They add. All right, I couldn't find what I was looking for, so I'm gonna stir it up with this. Once you see the garlic starting to brown up, you can turn this down just a little bit. It's all going in your omelet. And look at that butter over there. Faster. Melt faster. Melt faster! Since, you know, flavor's flavor, we can actually mix this butter around with this. Then you can put it back over there, right? Flavor's flavor. This omelet might turn out a little brown. So we're gonna turn it down a little bit. Hey! Those, those, those bars, man, you see how I work? Come on, man. Can't deny bars when you hear one. We're gonna pour the eggs on right here. And look at those tomatoes, dude. We we'll let that sit while the butter is still melting a little bit. You know what would have been better? some bacon, right? But I don't have bacon, so I have no regrets. Okay, once you put your camera on an unsteady surface, I know you guys just peeped that stereotypical cooking video transition. You will see that this is starting to brown up just a bit, but we have it on lower heat, so not really. What I'm going to do is push the cooked egg in and push the raw egg onto the outside, right? And let it cook for a few. As you can see, this is sizzling up very nicely, browning up beautifully. Just what I like to see. Smells awesome. Now for your omelet, 
You keep doing the same technique, right? It is already steady enough to flip. So what we're gonna do is put some of this into the mix. Oh yeah. Hopefully it won't get too heavy. And when you put this back down, there's less of the food. Half actually, if we're gonna be precise. So turn your heat down a little bit. Once it's ready, you're gonna flip your omelet. <laughs> There you go. Once you are able to get this flipped over, you're gonna turn this to low, and we're gonna take this off in a second. You're gonna take your pan, right? And here's when presentation comes in. This is just gonna slide onto your plate. Perfect. Then you're gonna take the other half of your spices and just put that on top. Not yet. Mm. And it's already beginning to melt because this is a behemoth. And once you have your cheese, you're gonna take the rest of your spices and just put it on just like that. Tell me that does not look good. Holy. Tell me that doesn't look good, dog. Just take a look at, oh my gosh! Yo, I know y'all see that. Yo, I I'm eating this. Goodbye. And now I get to eat my splendid omelet while you get to watch me. Oh, and you also get to watch regular show. That's why you should subscribe to my channel because I, for one, don't give a about copyright. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you're wasting your time on these other channels. Hey, don't cut me off. Yeah, don't cut that. me off. <clears throat> then I want you to get... Yo, my voice is still acting up. <laughs> <laughs> Try that again. Then, 